Well, I wanted to welcome everybody. You um, all come today to hear some beautiful piano and flute music. And I am so honored that I get to be part of this musical family. Um, I was doing some reflecting on the pieces that we're going to hear today. And this music that you're about to hear for flute especially was originally intended to be in this kind of a setting. So much of this was considered chamber music, meaning for a room, a small room of friends and family gathered together. So here we are, and we are going to be able to hear a piece by Cimarosa, who was an Italian composer. And one of my favorite things that most people don't know about Cimarosa is that he wrote over 80 operas, which to me is kind of extraordinary. So you're going to hear two of these beautiful movements from his flute concerto for two flutes. And this music is has really joyful, has a lot of color. You can hear that in the piano part, in the accompaniment part, that the parts for orchestra must be a lot of fun. Um, and he was very well known for writing well for strings and well for wind player. Um, he also wrote four flute quartets for string players and flutists. And maybe someday this wonderful household will have a chance to play some of those because you have so many lovely musicians available. Um, but I just also wanted to thank Sylvia for being willing to play with Jenna on this beautiful piece and um, just say how proud I am of Jenna that she is going to be completing today for Suzuki 6. So without further ado, let's welcome Jenna and give her a big round of applause to play this.
Okay, so, Jenna, are you feeling ready for this next thing? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to talk for like this amount of time or for a good chunk to give you a rest? <laughs> Always up to you. Okay, well, I one of the neat things about getting to hear these pieces back to back is they were written about 70 years apart. So we're going to backtrack just a bit in time. But for those of you who have grandparents who may tell you about their favorite songs from when they were growing up, this might be the similar relationship. So Bach was about the age of a grandparent to Chimorosa. Mm -hmm. And so before Chimorosa's time was music in this style. And these suites are a collection of dance pieces. And so these were pieces that were written to depict dances from different eras in different parts of, the, um, of Europe. And we get to hear a French overture, which is one of my favorite, which has a very slow dotted rhythm. It's labeled in our part as grave, but they're not necessarily sad. Um, and then there is a fugue in there, which is long and fabulous and complicated for us flute players to remember where we're going and what we're doing, but has some really gorgeous lines that keep coming back. So you'll hear some bits of melody that you'll recognize that develop over the course of the piece. And that is actually what would be considered the beginning of the suite. But in the order that we're going to perform today, you'll get to hear some of the more famous move movements first. And so not only will you get to hear a polonaise, which is a, yet another, another type of dance, but you'll get to hear a beautiful, fast piece called the bedinnery. Um, and then there's even some variations on themes. So you'll hear the double, which sounds twice as fast because it is in many ways from the polonaise. And so there's just so many colors within these Bach suites. And the reason us flute players get to play this a lot is because it's performed quite a bit in orchestras. Um, and so we can imagine that this piece was originally written for a wooden flute. And so to think of all this gorgeous stuff happening on an instrument that had one key and then maybe eventually six keys is kind of extraordinary. Um, and so I'm just so excited that you get a chance to perform these very fun dance pieces for such a lovely audience. And I just want to thank you guys for listening to Jenna. This is the second and final piece <laughs> on her recital, but it has a lot of movements. And uh, Jenna, do you want us to applaud in between, or do you want us to wait till the end? Because um, they're going to want to applaud after they hear some of the fantastic <laughs> stuff you're doing, so we should let them know what they should do. I think just wait till the end. All right. So we get to wait until her final note, and I'll help cue when we get to cheer, because it's, it's quite a piece. And so without further ado, here's Bach's Suite in B minor. <laughs> 